Hey, so today we're going to. Oh, who's that? Thank you. It's, uh, it's not even ours, it's our neighbors. That's okay. We do each other favors. Today for dinner, we are going to do cauliflower Alfredo fettuccine. So on the website you can see first one, yeah. Gotta have the music. Okay, cauliflower steam until soft. All right. Okay. They just this person just put their hands on this metal pot, just bare hands. I I don't know how that. Let's chop up this cauliflower. We got this big ass head of cauliflower, organic stuff from the Whole Foods. Weighted there is about two and a half pounds. This recipe calls for half of this. I don't actually know how to cut cauliflower, so I just looked up how to cut cauliflower on Google. Begin by cutting the cauliflower in half by cutting them away from the core. The stems are edible, though very fibrous. That was very simple and very informative. This cutting board is not big enough. Here we are. Check it out. It has a little bug on it. Nice. Like that. Out, outwards. This way. Oh, there we go. Let us know in the comments if we're doing this right. And also let us know if we can use this. I don't know if we can, but maybe we can. Going back into a home. Guys, so Dawson and I were just talking and uh, you ever wash dishes for a while and your back starts to hurt? Um, let us know if you know how to fix that because uh, we're constantly washing dishes all the time and I don't know how to stand properly. There's gotta be some proper posture. I'm sure there is. Washed. Load these up. Boiling. I'm just gonna flop that right on the top. Now it's steaming. Okay, what's next? Onion in a pan. Just just onion. Add the onion and cook for two to three minutes until translucent. Okay. There's that slice sections all throughout, right? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut into the onion at different sections. So here, 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 here. Cause you gotta put the pressure down. So I'm gonna cut into the bar. Now, chop it on up. That's all. I feel like that's about half. Quick, just watching the rest of this, add garlic and then put that in a blender with almond milk and lemon juice and salt. We got this garlic left over, I got it from Trader Joe's. I don't really know exactly how to cut garlic, so you know what? Google, ooh, how cast. I haven't watched these videos in a while. How to chop garlic. It's not you know, just for You know these videos tell you like, how to say I love you to someone, how to like. Is that one about like, have a kiss? I think I've watched Definitely. That. I think yeah. I've watched yeah. that one. I probably watched that one too, actually. <laughs> oh, we got an Asian person as representation. 2008, before Crazy Rich Asians. Press down on the stem of a head of garlic to loosen the curve. Step two, clean cutting board. Step three. Place the widest part of the flat side of your blade on top of the clove and smash down on the middle of it with the palm of your hand, taking care not to cut yourself. This will crack the papery skin enough for you to remove it. This is a big ass garlic. Yo, this is a big ass. Yo, no, check this. That garlic is like the size of her hand. This garlic. Look at how small, this is maybe it's because it's organic, but look at how small this garlic is. This is how small the bulb is, okay? This is the size of my thumb. This. Man, this is wild. This. Woo! Woo! Easy. Da -da. Chop it on. Go this way. I'm, gonna chop. I'm not gonna do go too crazy because we're gonna blend this anyway. Take that. Yeah, it's, it's like a brush. It's a painting. It's pretty translucent, right? Yeah, like. What does translucent even mean? You know? I don't even know. I wonder if these boys are doing all right. Look at steam, man. You see that? It's steam. That look okay. Woo! What's we'll that? Five to ten minutes. I'm turn that off and put that over here. I smell like cowbell. No, no, no. Even less 
to it. That's a lot of cauliflower. Did you weigh it? I did not weigh it. This is definitely... Oh, all we have is a scale. Past these 200 grams, so let's see how much this wooden bowl weighs. Almost the entire amount. Put the cauliflower. So we found out that 200 grams equals seven ounces and we want 12 ounces. Good enough. All right. Honestly, it's not that much over. I feel like we could just use all of it. Yeah, let's just use we it. Just use all of it. Let's just use it. So we didn't even need to do any of that. <laughs> it's good to know, right? Yeah, it's good to know. It's good to know that it should be to this height. So, what are we adding? Right. This shit. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Are you okay? Okay, so Dallas is gonna just start making this fettuccine because I don't want to wait forever to eat this food. It's like a teaspoon, all right. Little recap, this is back and forth. We're going all out, we're going crazy here. All right, we got this from Whole Foods. Mmm, bonza linguine made from chickpea. Gluten-free. Gluten-free, low glycerin, non gmo vegan. Chickpeas, tapioca, pea protein, zanduco. Four teaspoons of pepper right in there. Oregano. Don't forget to refrigerate your nut milk. Lemon squeezer. All right. Lemon, lime. Not the best squeezer. Honestly, just use your hands. You know what? I'm just gonna use my hands. No, your, your eczema. Oh yeah, my eczema. It burns my hands, so I'm gonna use this actually. Press down like that, and that's a tablespoon. There we go. I'm gonna wash my hands again, and. I have this nice little bamboo straw, and here's a little short review of me and Dallas reviewing these straws. Below. These are bamboo straws. Get them on Amazon. Uh, they're straws. Oh, you got a little brush. Circumference. They're, they're all different. You have to wash it, like. Oh, why? Why? When I went in and out, like. Oh. oh. Can you see it? Go, 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 go. Ends with this one. This is the smallest one, and I can go right in this one. Oh, all right, so. Any more water? I got that. Can you mouth it on that? <coughs> it does taste like Alfredo sauce. Yo, this is why. Yo, try this. Just like let it sit and then really taste it. What? Any water came out of this. It was just slime. <laughs> what about Maybe that one? Really? Oh, she's going, she's going, she's going. Oh! She got it. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for it. Do it. Wow. It looks like I put it back in the goo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just eat from this bowl, actually. Yeah, I don't see why we should dirty another bowl. The one and the two, the six. We have some of this. Rainbow peppercorns. These are really good. All right, you just sprinkle it on top like that. Just a little bit of extra salt. We cannot eat it like this. No, we eat it like that. <laughs> Cause we're Americans. I would actually, honestly, I think, I think chopsticks are better. Wow, I'm surprised that like, this isn't bad. Like, bad at right now, you know? I mean, 
If you were only ever told that this is what fettuccine alfredo is, then this is what I would believe it to be. I'm gonna have some pepper flakes. Bro, this is really good. This is solid. You know what I would love in this? What? Some broccoli. Oh. These rims are hot. No. It's even more protein now. Oh, true. How much protein do you think this meal got? Probably like. Let's see. The pasta got protein. The pasta sauce got protein. The broccoli got protein. I need some pepper, but it's great. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it interesting that like, people feel like they can't make food like this if they're not using like dairy products and cheeses and stuff. But it's like so easy to make shit like this. Man, capitalism, man. And you made? Big milk. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a blast making all this food. Thank you, Dallas, for filming and cooking with me. I helped a lot. She did. Try this out. Tell us what you think. Tell us if you get this, if you get this done right. I don't know, but uh, this is good. This is really good. I I I recommend. What would you rate this? Out of what? Uh, out of out of ten cauliflower. What would you rate? This? Okay. And are we like, is real fettuccine alfredo also in the same category like ranking? You know what I mean? Or am I ranking like? No, 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 no. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's compare it to regular real fettuccine Alfredo. I'd give it a hard seven Alfredo. Hard seven Alfredos out of ten Alfredos. It's a lot of Alfredos. It's also really freaking healthy. All right. Yeah, I think that, you know, like that's got to be incorporated into the value of yeah. it, you know? Yeah. The health factor of it. And I would sit down and eat this and like not. Brave. Not feel guilty. Mm -mm. Not. You ever been lactose intolerant and wanted to eat fettuccine Alfredo? This is how you do it. See y'all later. I don't think we'll ever see them. Well, we yeah, we might not ever see you. All right. They they can see us later if they choose to. Okay. We'll be around. All right. All right. We'll be around. Peace, y'all. <laughs>